Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kimberly Wilcox and welcome to episode four of my weight loss series, my glow up diary series, me changing my life. It is Monday morning about 20 to nine and it's gonna be a good day. It is like some really pretty weather out there. I don't know how cold it is, but the sun's out, the sun's shining and I'm just excited to be back here with you guys. I'm gonna go to the toilet <laughs> and then I'm gonna come in and do the weigh in. Then I'm gonna go for my walk and I'll come back and chat to you guys basically. Let's start it off hopefully on a high. I always get like excited nervous like ugh, it's a bittersweet thing. All right let's go. Okay, so let's go. Oh, 85.7 that is almost a kilo of loss that is 900 grand. Can't believe I just weighed in at 85.7. All right, I'm going to get ready for my walk, but oh my God, I am so happy. That is almost, no, that is 900 grams. All ready for my walk, let's go. I just realized this is my lightest I've been in well over a year. I did it and I can't wait to actually do it. Getting to 85, so hopefully that's me next week, is like my first goal. And then like 80, 78, 75 right now i've got a little over 10 kilos before i get to my goal weight guys i've got the oxy shred i have not used this for like a year or two i don't even know if it's still good we're going to use it before my walk let's make it there she is i've just got the guava passion fruit one <sighs> so gold <laughs> I'm back from my walk. I did 80 minutes of walking. It only worked out to be 53 active minutes though, but that's pretty cool. I am using my Apple Watch every single day. Um, and last week was like the first week in probably a year that I've closed all of my rings. So then I bumped up all of my goals like 15%. So I am like super proud of myself for doing that. Now it is 20 to 11. I'm going to wait for the press conference before I have my breakfast. Super happy with how I'm going with my walking. I feel like it's already putting me in a very productive kind of mood and I already feel very accomplished already. Like this is like the best thing you could do for your body is just get out there and move. I feel like this is what's made a really big impact on my weight loss journey this far because I'm out there exercising. Like I'm doing an extra two hours a day I wouldn't normally do even though I haven't been heaps productive I'm still out there when you start your day with a walk I feel like you're less inclined to eat bad so it's already like helping me so much and I feel like I'm not snacking like today I'm gonna have tacos for dinner because it's my little naughty meal and I'm so excited for it and I feel like I don't feel guilty at all because I already know that like to lose 800 grams last week I've already worked hard and I deserve it so I feel like my I guess like my binge eating is really slowed down and I haven't really got to that point once in this journey and that's why it's amazing and it's very different than my other weight loss journeys because that's always been my biggest problem I'll feel unmotivated one day and then I'll go have Maccas and then the next day I'll have KFC and I'll be off track for like a good couple weeks and I feel like my mental health has been so good considering we're in lockdown like I just I'm just really proud of myself like I'm sorry if it sounds cocky but like I'm so proud of myself I think I've lost like three and a half kilos so far which is amazing I know that I'm gonna do it this time a lot of it's got to do with my mental health my mindset I'm just excited to be able to wear my denim skirts in summer like I've got these stacked seamless tights I'm sorry they don't work for me I've already got chafing which is amazing just from an 80 minute walk and they ride down quite a lot. So I don't know if it's because I have bigger thighs and then my stomach. I have the best black tights and they don't have that problem. But these seamless ones, they just keep riding down. Like I said, I don't know if it's just me and my body's out of proportion. I'm kind of annoyed about it because there is nothing worse than having chafing. Nothing worse. That is like what I'm most excited about for some of my thighs not rubbing together if I lose weight. Like I don't know if that will happen because I don't know if I have those legs, but that's what I'm excited about. Yeah, no offense. I love my stack black tights, but I feel like these seamless ones, 
they weren't the money, my opinion. Anyway, I'm gonna go, what's the time now? Yep, I'm gonna have some water. I've already had one liter of water, I'm gonna have that. And then I'm just gonna watch the press conference. I also feel like doing intermittent fasting has really helped a lot. Like I haven't really been having breakfast until like 12 and I feel like it's so good. I've trained my body not to be hungry first thing in the morning. Like the more that I delay breakfast kind of early in the morning is the better because my body is digesting the food that I've had the night before. For, you know, I'm giving my body a chance to recover 98 cases today. It's okay. At least it went down a little bit But yeah, I just still think I've got a month of lockdown or so um, Right now I'm gonna go make myself a coffee and I am so hungry. So I'm so keen for this breakfast It is 11 23. I'm just gonna have these bread things with smash avocado tomato feta that's what we're having. I haven't had smashed avo in the longest time, so I'm so keen for it. Normally I have for breakfast, like my bacon and egg muffin that you've seen, but I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna have a bit of a break. I still love it and I haven't gotten sick of it, but I wanna try something a little bit different today. So that's what we're making. Let's put the kettle on. <laughs> This is gonna be like such crunchy toast. I'm so annoyed because I use one side of the toaster, but someone's turned it off because I put it at like two and a half because these cook so quick. I needed to use a fork at the start. Silly me. You guys can tell that I just haven't had smashed avo for the longest time. Like, look how much better <laughs> that worked than a knife. Okay, now we're going to be using some Danish feta. This is my favorite time. And then we have it, my breakfast. I'm actually going to take a photo of this because it kind of doesn't look that bad. This is what my breakfast looks like. Not too bad, right? I'm gonna eat this and let's have a little chat with Kim while we have breakfast. Okay, how's everyone going with lockdown? I feel like half of Australia is in lockdown and everyone's got mixed opinions on it. Yeah, how is everyone going? Are you guys going okay? I hope you guys are. If you ever need anything, like you can always message me on Instagram because I know times are tough. I think we've just got to continue being positive. Like. I'm really taking this as an advantage and working on my health. Like I am so proud at how far that I've come. And you know, when I was thinking about this compared to how I was last year, you know, I had all the time last year. I'm pretty sure we had three months worth of lockdown and I tried to make it my priority to do this weight loss journey. And I've realized like my mental health was so bad. Like I am so not surprised that my glow up diaries last year never lasted or I never made it through and i feel like i i went through a few of the videos yesterday and i was like i'm forgiving myself i could see in the videos and i was just like trying to hold it together and then i was just like i know that i had like a mental breakdown like 20 minutes before and i was just like wow like no wonder you didn't succeed on that weight loss journey last year and i think now i've just finally forgiven myself like i understand i've put on a lot of weights even since then and it is what it is unfortunately my mental health <laughs> wasn't there and that's the thing when your like mindset your mental health isn't there like it is the hardest thing to lose weight and i know how stressed i was too but i am like the best i've ever been i was like wow like even though shit's happened i don't know i just feel like i'm so positive and i feel like i'm the best i've ever been in quite a while like if not like i feel like i'm starting to live my best life like i am just feeling it do you know what i mean guys like i still get waves of stress or overthinking it feels so good to also detach myself from so much of my life. Like I feel like I've finally started letting shit go um, and even just taking time out for myself or going on these morning and afternoon walks has been so, so good for my mindset. It is so true what they say where like, even if you go for a walk and it doesn't do anything, it's really gonna help 
your mindset. Like I feel like getting my body moving, going outside in the sun has really helped me become a happier person. And I feel so happy. Like it's so cheesy. It feels like I'm like in love. Do you know what I mean? I'm just like so happy with life and I'm so happy to continue making these videos for you guys. I feel like that was a really random rant, but I just feel so good. This breakfast isn't bad. It's very crunchy. Like the bread is so crunchy. It's so funny because like how happy I feel like normally you would have someone in your life. No, I'm making all of my happiness myself. Like I'm not talking to anyone. I am just putting myself at first and it's not like I'm getting crazy shit done. I'm just like really enjoying this time off and really enjoying falling in love with myself, putting myself at first and like, you know, creating this healthier lifestyle for myself. Like I'm really loving it. I'm going to eat my breakfast and then we can get on with the day. I'll chat to you guys later. That like brekkie was so good. I feel so full and satisfied. It is like 10 to 12. I just looked at my computer. I'm just going to chill out for a bit actually. Back in bed I go is probably the worst thing. But it's Monday morning and it's actually really cold. I don't know why it's so cold. I should go put the heater on. Uh, watch Monte Carlo. I've actually wanted to watch this movie for a while. Hello guys, it is now two o'clock and I'm gonna go make myself some lunch. I'm gonna have like a spinach and smoked salmon salad actually. And then after that, I'm gonna go for my second walk update. We've already burnt 500 calories so far and my weekly goal is to burn 800. And I've already done my, like I already closed my exercise ring, which was 60 like active minutes, whatever it is. Anyway guys, I'm getting up and let's go make lunch. Also, this happened and it broke my heart a bit. This is like my favorite pot and it somehow just fell off. I don't know. I might have hit it as I walked past, but I'm really upset about it. So I need to go get a dustpan actually and clean this up right now. Mm-hmm. For lunch, I'm gonna have this kind of like smoked salmon pear sort of salad. So I've just got baby spinach and then I put like the rest of feta. I'm gonna cut up maybe like a quarter of pear, put some smoked salmon and I'm, and I'm currently cooking bacon and one piece of salami to put in there. And then now I'm gonna put some pecans. I'm pretty sure these are pecans. So I'm actually gonna caramelize them. So I'm gonna put about that much and I'm gonna add some stevia. So I never like, I just kind of like estimate this spoon of stevia in there. Then I'm just gonna get my sugar-free maple syrup, put some of that in there and then put that in the microwave for like 30 seconds and it will caramelize it. That's how easy it is. And I feel like that changes the salad. It gives it that little bit of sweetness, which is, I know, what I like. I normally make the nuts first so they can cool down because they're gonna be hot and then they're gonna like damage all my cold food basically so i might wait like five ten minutes for them to cool down okay i swear this looks like more appealing when i have feta because i normally put that on last i guess i was like lucky to even have any there goes the most random salad i wonder if i can eat all this so we've made this like homemade dressing it's got apple cider vinegar honey dijon mustard and a little bit of olive oil i don't know like measurements i might put it in the description box down below but i normally make a really big batch um so it does depend but i'm gonna pop some of that on that is done that's the finishing look for lunch I kind of hope I eat it all. I don't know if I will, it's such a big salad. A lot of it is spinach, cause I need to eat more. How often do I say that? Just made myself a diet right cordial. This is the flavor I have. Love it, 100% recommend. The best thing about that salad is like cooking salami in it. Like that gave it that crunch. And I was like, I'm like not a massive ham person. Like I eat it, of course, but like, would I choose salami over ham? Yes. Is salami worse for you? Yeah. Are they both just as bad as each other? Probably. I'm gonna finish my drink and then we're gonna go for a walk. Normally I would go for my walk before I eat food, but 
I stuffed up and had lunch so late. So I was quite hungry. Like I was very surprised I finished that salad, which is good. It means I won't snack as much too. All right, it's 3.30. It's walk time. <laughs> Let's do it. Apparently it's gonna rain soon. So I better try and get an hour in. Just got back from my walk. I did about 80 minutes, so I've done about two and a half hours today, which is good. I am so tired. I was gonna go on the treadmill and go for a run, and I was like, no, I can't do it. I can't do it. I just think it finally is catching up with me a little bit, but that's all right. I'm gonna have a little bit of a rest. Then I've got a prep dinner, and that's it. It's six o'clock. I thought I would start making dinner. I am so excited for dinner. I have chicken tacos. These. Hunt, I fed you three times today. I don't know what you want from me. You just want to cuddle? Oh, you just want to cuddle. She doesn't want to cuddle. All right, so we're having these crispy chicken tacos. This is my kind of like treat meal. I ordered these last week and I am so stoked to have them. I was going to have these, I think Wednesday last week. And I was like, no, nope, I'm waiting till Monday. That's my treat. So it kind of gives you like a kit, which is so good. Calorie wise, not really looking at them. So it's about a hundred and something calories per taco. And I'm probably gonna have three because I'm that hungry and I don't even care at this point. Okay, so I've got the chili sauce. And then I think this is just the spice. I just need to do this in the chicken. We're about to oven bake the chicken, put all the seasoning on for 15 to 20 minutes. So I've prepped everything else. So I might just put those in there. And then that's the sauce. Everything's done. This thing is waiting for the food. I'm like, I want food now. I've just cooked you. Why am I waiting? <laughs> but anyway, what a day. Haven't done a hell of a lot. As every vlog, I feel like it's just lockdown for me. I can't do anything about it. It's just me being boring in lockdown. So I finished in an hour. I feel so full and satisfied. That was so damn good. Oh, so happy that was kind of like my treat meal. It's seven past seven, so I did have a little bit of a late dinner. I don't eat past 8 p.m. So I've got about half an hour to digest this food if I want dessert, mainly because I need the food to digest. And then I try, and, I try not to eat before like 11 tomorrow. Bit of intimate fasting. I feel like that's helped quite a lot and it's also helped me not snack. I feel like that's the biggest difference. Like I don't snack late at night. I don't snack early in the morning. Like I just have my three reset meals I had a snack today it was that little cookie and that's about it okay it's 10 to 8 which means I've got 10 minutes to eat my dessert <laughs> so this is like my favorite halo top I've tried like three other ones actually I'm gonna have a little bit I don't think there's much left okay I'm gonna have maybe like three teaspoons I'm not heaps hungry actually but I just want something sweet I'm not having heaps, but like I said, I'm not majorly hungry. I just want something sweet. So yeah, this will be the last thing that I ate. How good. Just had my dessert. I don't know why my camera is like this. And I'm off to have my shower. I just cleaned it. That's all I needed to do. I'm out of the shower. My hair is still kind of wet. I should have got the towel and wrapped it up just in my dressing gown. Do I feel good day out though? Like you take the day off and you're like, oh my God, I just feel so good. Honestly, see how big her belly is, but she's still crying that she wants food. I fed her four times today because I was like, maybe she's got worms. She doesn't have worms because I wormed her not long ago. You're just hungry all the time. Belly, like, look at it. From that angle to that angle, it is just so big. I think you're just, you just love food like us. You love food like us, don't you? Wow, 
actually look like a hot mess. Are we accepting me like this in these vlogs now? <laughs> Who am I? I forgot to do my journal. I'm gonna fill that one out. I need to just like, I used to keep this on my bedside table. I need to get back into that. So what I wanna talk to you guys about is, I know that I was so positive today. And if I'm being really honest with you guys, like Friday and Saturday were probably two of the hardest days for me in this journey so far. Oh my God, I just can't take myself seriously. Those days I really got tested. So Friday, a good all day, we were gonna have lamb chops for dinner and then we got a blackout and I was like I'm going to get Maccas I was like I'm going to get Maccas what are we supposed to have I was like I'm just so annoyed like you know when you get to that point it was already seven I feel like I have my dinner at like six anyway I was at that point where I was like going to have a smoothie at like 4 30 and then I was like you know what I'm just gonna wait for dinner and then we got a blackout and I was like so annoyed like I was cranky you know I was like so hungry cranky and I was just like I, I kid you not guys I was like this fucking go to go and get Maccas I don't know how I overcome it but I ended up having a sandwich bit of white bread that was like my first white bread that I've had in well over a month and we also know that bread doesn't work the best for me so I had a good old kind of salad ham put condensed milk on it as the sauce sandwich fabulous right like so much sugar why did i put condensed milk as the sauce it was like honestly if you've never done it before it tastes so damn good but i was just like why did i do it to myself like two slices of white bread i think i had oats and then i had an egg and bacon muffin so i had already had so many carbs and i feel like that sandwich pushed me over but i feel like it's okay i didn't a sandwich isn't that bad it was the snacking after and like I said, I was going to go to Macca's. So I feel like it's still good because I didn't cave and go to Macca's. <laughs> I was so swollen the next day. I had stomach pains. I was just like, my body does not work well with gluten. It just doesn't work well. I then woke up Saturday morning. Mind you, the power came back on at like 2 a.m. And then it got to 6 and it turned back off. And it didn't get turned back on until 12 p.m. the next day. So Saturday. Get to Saturday and man, I've gone on my walk. I was just like, I'm going to go for an hour walk because there's nothing else to do because I have no power and I'm hungry. So I go for an hour and a half walk. It was windy as hell. And I just, I'm like, please, when I get back, just have power. No. Nope. We didn't get power. I think actually, I think it was like 1.30. So again, I was this close because I didn't have it the night before. I was like, okay, I'm going to go to Macca's and get myself a bacon and egg roll and a hash brown and an iced caramel latte. This close. I didn't do it. I will say I was pretty cranky on Friday and Saturday. I was just annoyed because I didn't get to have what I wanted. Like that was the first feeling where I felt like I could binge. Like I was actually that cranky. I was like, give me all the takeaways. Give me a packet of chips. Give me ice cream and I was so proud of myself for not doing it like I look now and I think I'm proud <laughs> on the Friday and Saturday I wasn't proud I just wanted naughty food and I was just like wow I honestly thought I was doing so well and I am I still am because I didn't cave but I just realized how much stronger I've come because the old me would have caved but they were some hard days <laughs> I sound so privileged I know but they were just really hard because I wanted all the bad food I was ready to give up this weight loss journey I was like ready no you know what my mum said to me go get yourself a bacon and egg roll then go on and I was like oh because she said I could have it straight away I was like I don't want it if I have Maccas today I know I'm gonna get on the scale on Monday and put weight on and I was like I'm not doing it to myself so I didn't and it paid off because I lost like what was it 900 grams today but oh my god I just had to let you guys know I don't know that was just like one of the first times where I was like ready to give up on this weight loss journey because I know myself compared to last year I look back at the footage and I'm just like girl you had no chance at getting through this weight loss journey like your mindset like I remember the shit I was going through and my mental health problems and like I would just cry like last year I kid you not I would spend a whole day crying day after day after day like right now I haven't cried once I actually haven't cried once being in lockdown and I'm so proud of myself I've definitely overcome a lot of things my mindset's a lot better like I've said but I'm gonna see this through guys I am gonna see this through today I weighed in the lightest I've weighed in well 
well over a year. So yeah, we got it. And you know what guys? You can do it too. You just gotta keep pushing yourself. And like you've gotta know that when you have shit days or you have bad mood days, don't cave. Then you're giving those cravings power. Like right now I've got no cravings whatsoever. Yes, I would love to have chicken nuggets. Do I feel like I'm gonna feel better after them? No. Do I want them? No. I right now am so focused on the journey and I am so proud of myself at how focused I've been. I haven't felt this focus on a weight loss journey in years so I'm so proud at how I'm overcoming it. You've just got to push through and I feel like I'm not missing out because I've done so many alternative swaps. Like I would normally have normal ice cream tonight but I'm having Halo Top. Instead of having a big bowl I had three teaspoons and that was enough. I feel satisfied. I feel like I'm finally realizing that portion control is such a big part and making the healthier swaps like it's just so crazy how you can change your mind and your life I know that I'm losing this weight for good okay yeah I might put on a couple kilos here and there but I don't ever want to get back into the 80s unless I'm pregnant or I'm older but do you know what I mean this is the mindset I want I am doing it for the long run I've made so many healthy habits already and I feel like they're sticking to me like me going on two walks a day actually going for a run who the hell is she who is she no imagine me in a month's time I'll probably be better like it's just you got to give yourself patience and you've got to push through I feel like this was such a long rant but I want to come here and chat to you guys a little bit about my weekly reflection from last week how we went and comparing it all so I need to actually feel this out and I will I'm just looking at what I've written so last week I had Macca's I had chicken nuggets on Wednesday but other than that I was really good and even after then like it felt good eating it but like after then I didn't feel amazing and still bouncing back like that's so good for a whole week to have takeaways once okay I wrote as my goal to burn 700 calories like there was only one day I didn't burn over a thousand last week I closed all of my rings I was doing like thousand calories I was doing 45 minutes minimum exercise minutes which is just amazing I didn't have less carbs that was the only thing I drank so much water and yeah I did eat quite a lot of whole foods which is really good to only have takeaways once still proud of it all right I'm gonna fill it out now and we can keep comparing these. I know these are kind of personal, but I really love having them. Like I love looking back and seeing the weekly goals that I set for myself, it's really good. So, so far I've lost 3.8 kilos, which is amazing. All right, I'm gonna set my weekly goals. 12K steps every day. This is gonna be a really big goal this week. I really wanna get to 84.5, so that would bring me to a total of 1.2 kilos. I just wanna see if I can do it this week. That would almost be one of the highest. Um, but yeah, that would be really amazing. No takeaways. I haven't had a week without any takeaways, so this would be my first week. Two walks, and I wanna go on the treadmill three times. It's like, Kim, you haven't come this far to only come this far. Like, you've come this far to finish the journey you know I want to start getting up early like 8 a.m I've been getting up like 10 it's bad in lockdown so there we have it my weekly review and now I'm gonna do my weekly reflection I do these every single week and I feel like it helps me have a better mindset throughout the week there we have it guys I'm so grateful so I've just I'm gonna go through a few of the little questions describe how you felt last week I said I felt ready to give up I felt ready to give up on this journey and then what were your wins last week? I wrote getting to 85.7 minus like losing that 900 grams, more exercise, being happy and not binging. But yeah, that's pretty much that, which is exciting. Oh, I'm so happy with how I am going, but I know that it's not always easy and I feel like I want to start sharing those moments. Like I'm just going to pick up the camera. I think next week I want to do like a weekly vlog or I might do two vlogs this week. I'll see how I go. I think that's going to be everything for today's vlog because it is just going to be a daily vlog. If you guys did enjoy this video, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Thank you so much 
for all of your support. Thank you for watching. If you've watched it all the way through, sorry, it was a little bit of a longer daily vlog, but that's okay. It is what it is. And yeah, let's smash it out, guys. I'm so excited to see how far I can come and how far you guys can come. And you know, we've just got to get through it. I know it's really hard because we're all in lockdown, but we need to use this to our advantage and you know, give all of ourselves so much extra time. All right, guys, I'll chat to you later. Bye.